The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 93. You get the NASDAQ flat. S&Ps are up 7.5. Gold contract. Gold's up 11.70, trading at 12.53. 50, gold saved itself. Uh, it's been a while since gold has been up, excuse God. me, double digits. I'm stuttering. I can't even get it out. It's been jumping off the cliff since April 14th. It's down at 1238 this morning. Quite, Same, a, quite it, a number. And 1236 is that, that okay. is a swing point. There we exactly. go. Um, silver. Silver's up 22 cents. That's saving itself this morning. Also $16. Light sweet crude is something else, man. 70, where are we at? 75 so, bucks. Okay, yeah. It was over 75 on the dot as we speak. Yeah. Uh, as we, my 9 a.m. updated, it just climbed to a 7502. Perfect, right? Pretty amazing. Except man. for the high prices for July 4th driving weekend, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Well, what's pretty wild is that, you know, the XLE's up a, a buck today, but the XLE's having a hard time getting to higher price. So that's, you know, that's problematic. That's saying, you know, well, it's saying that those equities aren't going to make as much money as they, you know, the market doesn't think they're no. going to make as much money as with oil at 75. We could do a whole show probably on the price of oil compared to the price of the oil companies. Seriously. When, when it went from $27, we're now yeah. three times the value of oil, and right. those companies aren't worth three they're times. They're not even at their, their high, high for the last six it months. Is, it's Notes and bonds, guess what? Larry's going to get his life jacket on. We, they, they continue to go higher, man. Uh, the the life jacket deals, Larry and I get a bet on the, we always have a bet on whether he's getting on the boat or not with these bonds going higher. It is deviant. Tell them who's on what side. you got to explain this. Oh, I'm, I'm on the bull side. That bonds are going higher. Larry's on the bear the side. The prices are going higher. Rates are going lower. Right. So the, the easy way is you think rates are going down. Larry thinks rates are going up. Exactly. There we go. So we get the 10-year up 3, the 30-year up uh, 10. King dollar. King dollar's giving it up again. We'll see uh, how this 95 uh, act. And the dollar index, folks, 95 has been a tough time with king dollar. You're at 93, 94, 3, 90. We get the euro at 116. We get the yen at 110. And what better way to go into July 4th, the birth of our country, and talk to our man, Mr. Kevin the birth Hicks. of our country. Put it all on Kevin. Let's go. Kevin, yeah, man, that's oh, man, right. what's going on? That's right. <laughs> Kevin Hicks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. Happy 4th. Happy 4th of July Eve. That's right. Totally, Happy man. Happy 4th, man, totally. for sure. Hey, listen. You know, you got to love it, man. You know? It's the holiday where we blow stuff up. Yeah, everyone, be careful. I was joking last night, and it's joking, but it kind of gave me a little bit of a cringe because how many people are going to lose fingers tomorrow? And guess what? It's a number above zero, unfortunately, and don't be that person, so be safe. Well, you know, hey, Kevin, this morning in the paper, uh, in the headlines in the, 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 the Tampa Bay Times, it had... Uh, a fireworks really illegal, and they're showing that they're illegal. Now, well, which it, ones? But uh, yeah, right. Oh, all. It, it, so this is how it works, right? You, you're signing a, a farm like where Tommy lives in Tampa, right? Which I'm going to cross the bridge today yeah, and go we get fireworks. Good, we got the good fireworks. You get the good fireworks. <laughs> and what happened is that they just si you sign this farm saying that. Uh, you're gonna. You need the fireworks to to get rid of birds. Okay. Oh, too funny. Oh, this is amazing. This thing. This thing went to. And I guess. <coughs> I got a lot of birds in my yard. Twenty man. years ago, it went to uh, court. Uh, they arrested this guy that started it, and he's the okay. guy that owns that so big you can fireworks just buy thing. Fireworks for whatever and, reason. Yeah. And the bottom line is that in Tampa, they have really good fireworks, like <laughs> the real the real deal. So you better you be know? really careful. Yeah. Of them. yeah. <laughs> Where would we be as a people? And as a country, if we if we did not have an ability to rationalize what we do. Totally. <laughs> totally, man. Totally. I, I mean, now there is the perfect case of rationalizing your behavior. Isn't it? Right? <laughs> it, gets the, it helps the birds. Let me tell you something. I was I'll sign on the dotted line. I was laughing one. this morning because I said, you know what, man? I'm j jump. We get we, we today the market close at one o'clock, yeah. folks. I am jumping in the car because we're right next to Tampa. You have yeah. to go over this Straight one bridge. bridge. There's no traffic today. And, too, in terms and, of, yeah. and they they sell the big fireworks. They Man, do. they're expensive though. They were they were well, they were the yeah. good ones. Right? Yeah, right. But and yeah. guess what? Sports are live. We got to light some of them off. There you go. Totally. Totally. Still a fun thing to do though, right? Hey, I mean, some you know. We have a ritual what we do. We go to the same spot every year and watch fireworks with my kids every single year. Nice. You know, we. we 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 bring some 
what I like to refer to as daddy juice boxes, adult juice boxes yep. out there, and we watch the fireworks. It's a beautiful night. It's so nice. true, man. No, it's a great you know, feeling. It's, it's, Some good patriotism, it's, it's, right? Yeah. You got oh. that rocking and rolling for yeah. sure. It, 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 there's no and doubt, man. Speaking of patriotism, you know, yesterday morning, this is historically, as you guys know, a very uh, bullish time of year. Yes. And tried to sell them yesterday, couldn't. And so right now, E-minis are up eight. And they look like they're drifting higher, and there doesn't look like a whole lot to get in their way. Now, NASDAQ's a little softer because there, there was some Facebook news that's making uh, some of the fang stocks a little softer. But all yeah. in all, these E-minis, e there's not much in their way, Tom. Yeah, well, you know, when you talk about news, you know, I see Facebook's down 3 bucks. Yeah. Google's the one that really should be down. It's only down $5. They had the, in the headlines of the, the journal this morning, right in the front page. So Google has been letting hundreds of software developers into our email, into the Gmail accounts, reading everything. And it's like I'm reading this, like, and, you know, I hear people say that, hey, they read the, but bottom line, you're talking about hundreds of app developers. We, we could be one. If you're an app developer, um, bottom line, they let them scan your whole email. Sure. And so check this out. This morning, this is like really crazy. Did I, Right after I read that, I, I'm thinking, I sent an email to someone, and I swear that I, I got an advertisement right after this. I says, oh, my God, this is blowing my mind, you know? But bottom line is that I guess I don't know what took us, well, personally, I don't know what took me so long to really understand how this deal works. Sure. You know what I mean? Because bottom line is that they're in our emails. That's how they scan them. That's, that's how they advertise to us. Yeah, You're it's right, data, right. data, you know? Pretty wild, man. You know, Facebook... The only thing that can really hurt Facebook right now are these headlines, right? I mean, headlines or and, and so much like Wells Fargo a year, a year and a half ago, Facebook needs to just stay off the headlines. Yeah. And, and today's a day where they couldn't do that. They're on the headlines. And so it'll be, a, it'll be a tricky day for Facebook here. Besides that, the market looks fairly strong going into the holiday. But when we get back from that holiday, remember, we got Fed minutes. Yeah. On Thursday and payrolls on Friday. So, it, it you know, in terms of a calendar, it's kind of a frustrating week for traders. Because right when you want to turn off your computer, take the rest of the week off, you got to turn it on because of payrolls on Friday. There's a lot of action, yeah. You know, the Facebook deal, Kevin, right? It seems that, I mean, you know, we pulled back in the market a little. Facebook does not, doesn't want to pull back. Well, I mean, Facebook is like 30% it's, off it's, that low it just it, made. So. It, it is almost like Teflon, right? No matter what they say, uh, and, you know, we've talked about this, they keep selling advertising and they're going to. It'll be know? interesting to see what happens with this one, though. They have an expanding probe, you okay. know, in the feds. And having oh, that, huh? having, that's this morning. That's yeah, the that's news. Right, that's right. That's yeah. a big one. Right. Um, and what what will be interesting is that they already have that consent decree, which is like they're they're on strike two. They're not on, you know, Google, I may think, might be on strike one. Um, as in, you know, they're going to go back. And they were already yeah. supposed to make these changes as part of a deal with the government. As in, that's that's nothing to sneeze at in terms of that's a big deal when you you know already have something in writing that you're not supposed to be doing this stuff and then you do it and be part of the overhead yeah they're, they're <laughs> not going anywhere i agree yeah, but that's you gotta yeah. love it. well listen kevin you have a great fourth we look forward to the show in 45 minutes folks and you want to understand options option strategies great show every trading day right here kevin and his team 11 to 12 eastern standard time kevin have a great one safe one say hi to everyone for us happy fourth man Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th, Kevin. Thank you. Have a great one, man. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow up 76. NASDAQ's flat. S&Ps are up 6.5. We're coming right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day this will be up to the date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading in Larry's first week alone he sent out 25 charts six videos and a full report to his subscribers in just one week if you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade then Larry's service Fibonacci 24 7 is something that you must try right now new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee with nothing to risk sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. 
TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionics, oil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Welcome back, folks. We have the uh, Dow right now up uh, 75, NASDAQ up three, SP is up six and a half. And uh, if we go over and we take a look at the uh, the GDX here, so uh, we caught it. We, you know, the thing that's been amazing about the GDX in general is that gold has got smoked, the GDX held tight, uh, <laughs> and we got another bid out here today. So we'll see how this shakes out. You know, we had, we had a sign of strength uh, on uh, Monday. We back down. We, you know, yes, Monday we go up at 53 million. You back down yesterday with 32. We get 6.5 today. That, so that's gonna we're gonna have volume in this today, which is really impressive for a holiday. Yeah. You know. So uh, if we go inside uh, the bigger waiting structures, you're gonna see Newmont. Newmont's up 93 cents. That's catching a bid. And what we saw in Newmont and in uh, so Newmont's actually getting inside its larger range, which is 38.15. We're at 38.48. That's a good showing. ABX, which is the second largest weighting, uh, is going right for its swing point. The swing up there is uh, 1380. We hit 1353. Uh, and this is what's really wild. So, picture, it's what, quarter past 10, right? Yes. The swing point is 7.8 million. We got 3.1. And what has happened, what we picked up on two days ago, Monday, is that there's some heavy bias coming in. Uh, Barrick and Newmont. Look at those trades. 62,000 at 10 o'clock, 25,000 at 10. I don't pay attention to the ones at 9.30. That's the opening bid. Good, good. Those are good block trades, man, that we haven't seen in a long period. And why do you say they're buyers versus sellers? I'm just, that's, that's. Well, what happens is that, so if we take a look at the. Are they just trades? They, they're just trades. But if you, if you, if you take a look at how this is trading. I mean, I know, but there's got to be a buyer and a seller on each side, right? That's why I just get confused when you say there, there buyers. Is, there is. There has to be a buyer and seller on each side, but bottom line is that my take is that it's their buyers. Oh, okay. they, no, I'll bring it back. I'll, I'll explain it to you, okay? Don't get frustrated. There's, I'm, there's I'm, people on two sides of it. It's just a, I, I'm just asking you as some... They, if we take a look at the... When you get sellers that have large lots like that, bottom line, you're going to be going lower. You're not going to be going higher. That's what the essence of it is. You know, this hasn't ticked down all the whole time. Okay. You know. So if we go back to uh, ABX, 
and you take a look at ABX intraday, and you take a look at, you get 62,000. Now that that means it was flat. See that right there? That wasn't yes. on a down tick. The first trade was on a down tick. 16,000 was on a down tick. It doesn't mean that that's a sell though. 933. These ones that are close to 930. I don't pay as much attention to like this. Yeah. 62,500 to 1008, that's a big number, man. Um, 10, that's right there, someone holding that up right there. So, bottom line is that uh, let's go look at Royal Gold because Royal, now this is going for its high. Oh, it did it. Oh, baby, here we go. Okay, so. This is a big number. Royal Gold's been trying to get into this high for a long time. 94, 39. Yeah. And it's blowing it away. Yeah. Holy cow. Now, let's go see what we got here. These are only at 5,000 a pop. So it's not like the... See, it, it's, it's intriguing because inside the gold market, folks, what happens is that Barrick and... Newmont, right? Because they've been around so much and like let's picture you're a money manager and you really don't understand the gold market a huge amount, right? What's gonna happen is that when you're running money, you're gonna buy Barrick and you're gonna buy Newmont because they're the two largest gold stocks in sure. the world. Do you know what I mean? Sure. And so it's a safety play. Um, if you you know, if you're gonna allocate money into it. So what we have with uh, Royal Gold now, it's making a run for the high, ninety point eight four. The thing that's amazing is that we're up at this level, but yet gold is $700 off its highs. Sure, right. You know? Can you go back to Newmont for a second? Yeah. I just wanted to see how many shares they're trading on a day because I saw Royal Gold has about 167,000 so far. Yeah. So that's 5,000 blocks. You know, they're small, but when you're only trading 167,000 shares, can you go to what's their daily volume? Yes. Uh, 865. I can see it up there. Uh, so that's all I wanted. So, you know, in, in comparison wise, we're at 864 right now in Newmont. We're at about 165 in Royal Gold. Okay. So if you have 5,000 shares traded in the, can you go to the big blocks on Newmont again, the yep. AQPR? Um, just that you got to multiply it by, how was that? What were we looking at? What was the one before you were looking at? Uh, Barrick, I think. Yes, okay, Barrick. Yeah, Barrick has some big buyers. That's there. why I wanted to see how many shares percentage wise. So there you go, volume of 3.2 million shares today. Yeah versus 160. So my point being, Barrick doing about 20 times the volume as... As Numa? As... Uh, or, or Royal Gold, thank as you. Royal I'm getting okay. the three as in my Royal. head. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. right. Um, so those 5,000 blo blocks are pretty decent, though, in that. Do you see where I went? Okay. You'd have to have a 100,000 share block to oh, have cool. the comparison, okay. because right. 5,000 right. share blocks, when you're only trading 160,000 a day, that's a big time. There it is. Versus, cool. you know, these okay. 10,000 share blocks really aren't a big deal when you're trading 3.2 million, because literally this is doing 20 times the amount of volume. Yeah, that's so a good way of doing it. Yeah. yeah. It's impressive. Yeah. Finally, finally, folks. Now, well, it's going to get intriguing here. You know, I expect we're going to hold price, but if we do hold price coming into the end of the day, this is going to be the first time since April that we actually got follow through. Remember, we were going through the aspect. If you if you look at the GDX, we've we've broken the downtrend, you know, a few different times since um, the April high. But each time we broke it, we failed again. You know, we broke the downtrend in May, went higher, failed again. Broke the downtrend again in uh, what's at the end of May, the 24th, yep. failed again. Broke the downtrend again, it failed again. So. You know, bottom line is that we'll see uh, if, in fact, uh, we can basically stay higher. What, we'll, what we will have happen, and this will be a monster move, is that into the close today, the GDX is going to get some monster volume. Because what's going to happen is that the sponsor of the GDX, the ETF, is going to have to get that net asset value okay. right next to it. And when you get big days like this, whether they're up or down, if you get a big day up, they put a huge amount of volume into it uh, on the close, and then that's a buy, which gets it more. But if it's down, that's when it gets killed, because nice. then they basically have to sell everything. That's the whole chicken and the uh, egg. Yeah, right. You know, one pretty, after the other. Totally. Pretty wild. So Tesla, Tesla, uh, <laughs> Tesla had its one-day wonder. It's been out quite here. a 24 hours for Tesla since Hasn't we were it? on the show yesterday, right? Look, look at that move. Yeah. So Tesla, folks, uh, you know. 
traded, opened yesterday at uh, 360, got up to 364, gave it up. Can we put? Can you put yep. it on uh, IGPO? Go a little yeah. bit closer. I just want to see how yesterday, where that actually started off yesterday. Yeah. So we're literally, I just want to see we because I remember we were on the show. Yes. And we were saying, man, it's doing well. Right. Even it was up there fifteen was, bucks. There was a lot of negative right. action in that. Yeah. Um, the the and the press release. The early, really? yeah, yeah. In terms of right. what their production was, and uh, the market kind of saw, saw through that as well. Saying, yeah. you know, remember they said Tesla, uh, Elon here at his tweet, right? Seven thousand cars in seven days. Right. And uh, you had the Ford. European CEO saying 7,000 cars in four hours. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. The market took wind of that. Took wind. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow right now at 81. NASDAQ is flat. S&Ps are up 7. King dollar. King dollar down 400 ticks. 94,380. Coming right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank Bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 78. You get the NASDAQ flat. S&Ps are um, up 7. So let's go to the NDX and see uh, what is, uh, I guess, is Facebook, right? 
Let's uh, yeah yeah. Ah, and Tesla. And Tesla. So Tesla is uh, down 3.4 percent. That's putting some negative into the index. Uh, Facebook is down 1.2. 1.9, almost 1. 2. 1.9. Yeah. Uh, American Airlines is down uh, 1.3, and Sea Trip is down 1.3. I saw some headlines about the airlines this morning. What, what was, yeah, what was going on? I, I, well, I forgot. They, I just saw them across, can, but I didn't look. We can go to it. Europe for uh, basically, they're saying $500, I think. They said the, the fares are really inexpensive um, uh, compared to what they normally are in the summer. Okay. Yeah. I think there were downgrades too. That's okay. where so there was downgrades for all the big three. I think that was the headline I had seen. Um, so that may be coming. Selling it fail. Yeah. They, you know what they're saying? And, and right in Tampa, folks, this has happened. Uh, what the article in the journal was about is that the airfares normally in the summer are about eight hundred dollars going to Europe. Okay. And they're saying that they're right now you can get there for five hundred. And it has to do with uh, Icelandic Air. Okay. It has to, which goes right out of Tampa now. Okay. Uh, nonstop. Nice. Over, um, and there's one other that, it, a big airline, well, I mean, sure. not a third world airline. Sure, I'm with that, you, yeah. That's going out a of big Tampa also. Airline, yeah. Nonstop. Nice. Uh, and that is changing the dynamic of, you know, we're all used to basically going into London or Paris and then going from there. I got you. And so there are these smaller countries that have great airlines have been coming into cities, um, you yes. know. Yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, I, it'd be interesting to see, and I'm not even clear, but you know how fuel costs are going to come into that because yeah. man, five hundred dollars when you got oil above seventy five dollars, um, big number, pretty remarkable. And let's just pull up where oil is. I'm curious right now. Well, look at that dive in the Nasdaq. Uh, yeah, what is that? Oh, that's coming right into ten o'clock. Okay, uh, yeah, that's it. Check that out. Look at look, that. Look at that. I just saw headlines Se coming across. Crew 75 just to 73.50. Pretty remarkable. These are five-minute bars we're looking yeah. at, which is almost inconceivable that we just dropped in the span of one, two, three, four bars, 20 minutes, from 75.20 to 73.34. Talk about um, some volatility. And you jump back, where, uh, maybe just go back, where is, no, you're good. One more? No, okay. Why not? Let's what do you just, want to pull? Uh, let's go to the news for oil. I was seeing okay. some, which just cost a two dollar drop. Pretty, um, there was something I saw up there. Okay, you got the president tweeting or something. I'm sure. <laughs> so, Price of us left. Trump demanded OPEC to stop. Let's see. To stop what he called manipulation of the oil market, and assisting uh, and the, the group to increase output. <laughs> Well, you know, if you if you look at the XLE, um, the 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 tweet is going to work because <laughs> the XLE wants lower price. You know, so it's re it's really wild. I mean, I, I really want to sell this XLE, but I just don't want to do it yet. Yeah. You know, because it's like this oil market does not seem to want to back off. Um, yeah. CRB. Look. Pretty remarkable. We're flirting with seventy five dollars, or at least it, we were twenty minutes is. ago. No, it really is. There's, there's, and you know, if you you pull this up. Yeah, you're going to see, you get up there, but guess what? You know, even at $73, you're still pretty high. Oh, yeah, I would agree. You know? I mean, if you if you run, what's the probability that we go from 75 to 100 or we go from 75 to 50, right? I would say there's probably a higher probability that we trade back to 50 than we do we trade up to 100, but... I'm not putting that trade on just yet. Right, exactly. Exactly. No, like, you know what? I, stepping it, in front so, of the train. So right. watch this, folks, because this is what it's doing. Now, now, you can benchmark this, okay, which is pretty cool. It's the $75 number to benchmark it. Let me see if a five-year works. I get a continuous contract up here. Now I got to put it on further. So what, what oil is doing right now is coming into the lows of, I think it's 2010 and 2011. Is that 2011? Yep, 2011. Yeah, it's 2011. So that's $75.71. And, and look, we went to 75.75. That was August of 2011, you know, and then you got uh, September, no, June of 2012 is 77. That's what's, you know, and that we didn't trade there a long period of time. So, yeah. you know, when you don't trade there a long period of time, you, that can blow that through, man. Sure. You know, right now it's, it's giving it some flack. Sure. But, you know, <laughs> looking on this side. Yeah. There's there's the 107 bucks, you know. Yeah. Now, when you look at the XLE, this is what is so intriguing is that the XLE is saying that, you know, oil's up there but oil's ready to slow down because I mean, this is pretty sad. You look at the XLE. The XLE is trading where we were in 2007. You know, and these companies make money hand over fist. Yeah. But bottom line is that uh the way that 
like Exxon's trading is, you know, why? Why we got to 83.45, they sold it off again. They sold it off each and every time. Now, 83.54. So yesterday we went up there in volume. So I'd like to see that tested again. You know, uh, it didn't break the high. 50. I would guess it's not going to test that high with oil down two dollars in the last 20 minutes. No, no, it? unless no, something it's turns not. around. It's with not. The, now. See what it's going into over here? It's going into 30 million shares. That okay. was a vicious downdraft. And that's the beginning of the February collapse in the market. It is. So, yeah. It is. And, you know, bottom line is that so correlation-wise, you're going in 17 million versus 30. So the bottom yeah. line, that's your supply line. And that line, if we bring that back further, what you're going to see is that it really lays out going all the way over to October. You know, this whole level in here. It's pretty impressive, though. I mean, you know, and the aspect that it can't get any traction and oil is to the moon right now. So you know what else they got going on today? What? The World Series of Poker in Las Vegas. Oh, do they? They got the $10,000 main event buy-in. Okay. So everybody, somewhat familiar, right, on TV, so, so it's they, always intriguing. They, I played in it, what, it, geez, time flies, man, five, right. six, seven years ago, something like that. Um, but that's a big buy-in. So $10,000, they get somewhere around 6,500, 7,000 people, which you just got to add zeros, man. 65, call it 7,000 people paying 10 grand. You're dealing with $70 million prize pool. And uh, somebody walks out of there they, with they, eight, they, ten million. You weren't out there July Fourth weekend. No, that's when they've always run it. Oh, do they? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. And wow. what happens is, so the World Series runs for about six weeks. It's been running for four to five weeks. They have about sixty events. Yeah. All of them ranging from anywhere from literally about three hundred and fifty dollars. They have one tournament where yeah. they're just running it like all these different flights where they ended up getting all these people to uh, they had a fifty thousand dollar tournament I think this year, a hundred thousand dollar tournament leading up to it for the high rollers because, out there. Because everyone's in town. That's yeah, they get the high rollers, yeah. let alone what happens in the cash games back in the Bellagio and then Aria. They got Phil Ivy's room at Avia Aria. So Aria is Ivy's room and uh I'm trying to remember. All these high roller rooms are named after the guys. You oh, know, really? Because they're that big. That okay. that's yeah. The the big one is at Aria is Ivy's room. Um, I saw him play. Yeah. No. Yeah. Were you right. with us that night? No. You saw him play craps, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, he's not playing as much craps these days. That 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 yeah. cash kind of ran out when the online bust went because okay. he was getting such a big check from the full tilt guys yeah. that right. he could afford to be. He just sat there, folks. Like he was the only. They, <laughs> He was the only one at the table. No, they had one other guy playing against them. Yeah, but he, he, I remember you saying Yeah, he, yeah. Just, he wanted someone on the other side. So they got the $10,000 buy-in. It'll be interesting. That'll be on ESPN, I believe. They stream that. Uh, so watch this, too. W-Y-N-N. You want to see these? I saw yesterday, right? And this they, is Macau, Macau, yeah. Macau, China. I mean, the numbers didn't come in. This thing got toasted. I saw yesterday, yeah. Look at that gap away. It, the day before, it was $168. Those You're big 154. Asian whales aren't gambling like they want. Yeah. Give them a few more months. Every yeah. time, every time they say that, that that's going to go down, it seems to go down for a few months, and it comes a lot back. Of yeah, there yeah, there is. It comes it's back. Like, yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, 
copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 73. The Nasdaq's up 10. S&Ps are up 8. Let's go inside the Dow and see uh, what we have uh, strength versus weakness out here. So 3M uh, is putting uh, 13 positive points. You got Chevron putting 10. Johnson Johnson 10. United Technology 6. Taken away from it. Uh, Nike down Putting eight negative. Goldman 5. American Express 3. Caterpillar 2. Nothing Pretty much. tame, right? Yeah, yeah. it is. Um, you know, I'd say the biggest mover out there is Nike on the downside because that's a pretty decent move when you're only $77 stock. If you had some of those positive stocks up, uh, I guess not that big of a move when you shoot the moon two days prior and you just pull back yeah, a little so bit, right? We, what we're looking at, folks, Nike came out with numbers. Uh, Nike had closed uh, last Thursday uh, at uh, 71.70, opens the next day at 80, uh, 78, goes to 81. And, you know, just if you're looking for Nike, just let it fill the gap. I mean, it's it's so weird. It's just going to, like, pop down, fill that gap. And, and as long as it fills it with light volume, it's going to go higher again. It's pretty wild, man. Uh, you talk about and, and Nike numbers. So look at these numbers. They, they, they fired on all cylinders, man. They did. It the, was The online deal was a big number, too, in terms of uh, direct-to-consumer type. They're going to yep. be dealing with greater margins. I remember looking at that article just in terms of their earnings and everything was, you know, yeah. and that is, you know, even if they, and they didn't have decreased sales, but what the article kind of pointed out is they're doing such a good job of converting to online that they're, you're taking out a middleman there. You are. And your margins are going to be higher, so you have this room that if you could even just stay constant with your sales, right. and you start converting from Foot Locker sales to, you know, online direct-to-consumer sales, Huge. man, you're going to make a lot more money on margins, and then right. guess what? You can take that money plot back into online advertising, right? right. And just maybe... The and then, then they... Ha you know what I'm surprised about? Um, I ordered... Uh, you got your Nikes on today? No, I no, don't. No, not on today. I ordered right. a lot I don't of have mine on either. Two years ago, I ordered all, a lot of them online, yes. right? Yeah. And I had them made, We all folks. got them for Christmas, well, folks. Yeah, and I had them made. You can put monikered, your, you yep. could, Yeah. But I haven't got a stream from Nike marketing. You want me. more advertising? No, you should. You're right. I know. Yeah. I, I'm, you know, just... Oh, for I the just, amount of spam emails I get, right? That's from, right. From no. companies you've done business with. Yes, right, um, right. Yeah. You know, and yeah. I... And I Order them online again. I mean, yeah, that was, it, it was great. That I still was, have the pair. It, it was really easy to do. Yeah. It wasn't, you know. No, they were cool sneakers. Nice yeah. black Nikes with uh, the white swoosh and then the name right. on the back. Because like if, if you don't know this, folks, what happens, you can go on the Nike, you have to go on the Nike site, yeah. but you can make your own sneakers, and yeah. it's so easy to make. You, yeah. you can make the collar, you can make So you the, get to choose your style, you get to choose the exact, yeah, the, the, diff the, the different model. different colors, of, even on it. Right, yeah. yeah. And then, you know, what you want on the back. Mine a Tiger Tom. Tiger Tom, I know. <laughs> and the back. 
<laughs> Mine, I use them so much, they actually will work on Nike, get your quality up. They, what, what did I put in yours? They fell off. I forget. Oh. Tommy. I forget. Yeah, Maybe okay. it was Tommy O'Brien. It might have been. It might have been, yeah. Right. <laughs> so I was walking on Bayshore, everyone just knows my full name. I'm looking around. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. But good sneakers. It's funny how time flies, too, man. You know, I'm out on Bayshore a lot. Lucky live in this beautiful area. Yeah. I need some, some new sneakers. I forget, you know, I put right. a lot of miles. And yeah. Before you know it, for your knees, for, right. for everything, you want some cushion, man. It's totally. important on that cement. Yeah, there's no doubt. So, uh, you know, how about Bitcoin? Can we jump to yeah, Bitcoin? Yeah, absolutely. To cut you off. XBT. We, we Let's jumped go around take gold a look at it. Bitcoin yeah. hanging around 6,600. We got that pop yesterday. Um, quite a pop, you know, out of the oh, depths yeah. over the weekend. We're at 5,800 yesterday. You get some acceleration. It's kind of hanging at 6,600. Yeah, definitely saved itself, man. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's ironic is that that's where the cliff was for Bitcoin, too. I decided oh, not sure. to jump, you know. And, and you know, Bitcoin got a sign of straight there. There's your cliff right there. Yeah. I mean, we... we we peak just below it, but then jump back. I'm just going to jump over to Nadex here because what's interesting, so you have, of course, the weekly and the monthly. So I'm seeing, so the monthly, of course, expires at the end of the month. The weekly, I was just curious as to when. Yeah, so that's going to be a Friday expiration, even yep. though you're dealing with this holiday. It would right. make sense, right? Friday, 3 p.m. expiration. And, um, and Bitcoin very well could have real movement July 4th. I mean, because, you know, as Paul was saying, yes. it, you know, bottom line is that when the markets are closed and people are off, that's that's the retail environment. Definitely. Yeah. We were talking to our man Jason yesterday. He was saying right. similar action. You know, right. sometimes on the weekend you get some real volatility. Um, so you have the weekly spread. Just to remind, that's one-tenth of a Bitcoin. So this one being the middle of that spread. Where are we? 60? Am I right? Six, no, 7. Where are we? So 8,000. 6,400. 6, Thank yeah. you, yeah. Uh, 6,400 being the middle of that spread. That's a weekly that expires Friday. That's one-tenth of a Bitcoin. But then, of course, you have the monthly, the mini, they call it, which is one one-hundredth. And that is going from 100 to 13 one. So you're talking about a 13 point. So that's 6,600 is the middle of the monthly. So that's, pretty close. That's pretty cool. And we're at 65, uh, yeah. 80. And so you can see the bid offer basically straddling where the price is trading at yeah. right now. Um, and of course, and you get a full month, right? And I was going to say, of course, much larger bid offer sizes because they're only one one hundredth of a bitcoin, right? Um, yeah. So you can, yeah. So you can come over to our website, folks. Uh, hit the Nadex banner, bring it up. You can do the demo account yeah. and uh, have some fun as you're you basically uh, having some hot dogs and hamburgers and That's uh, right, firing man. off those fireworks. That's right. I really am going to go over the bridge as soon as, uh, you know, I, I have never done that since I've been here, folks. This is so <laughs> funny. Not going over the bridge, meaning I never realized that you could get the real fireworks I know, I like, in Tampa. People might have just tuned in. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them what you're talking about, man. Well, the real fireworks the, are in Tampa. The real they're fireworks, in Hillsborough they're County. They're, they're not in Pinellas County. Exactly. And um, we're right here, right where we are, actually. The bridge is only about a mile and a half away, right? Yeah, it's Two like miles. five miles. Yeah. So, yeah. so as soon as you go over the bridge, yeah. then you're in Hillsborough Tommy County. Lives, Hillsborough County. Which is Tampa. And it's we're the, in wild, Clearwater. It's like the wild west in Hillsborough Oh, County. it's crazy, though. <laughs> Fireworks everywhere. <laughs> no, everyone, be careful out there. I'm going to be careful. I mean, you know, you just got to um, practice good safety. As in, seriously, you yeah, know, um, that's for sure. friends and I kind of joking. Uh, and, you know, but you had the NFL player, Jason Paul Pierre, Mike Brady, um, blew off like half his hand, you know, four or five years ago. And, yeah. and you know, he can, he's such a phenomenal athlete. He's actually is still able to be a force in the NFL. Okay. But you're talking about defensive linemen, you know, the he can't grab the shirt as much right. anymore. You throw him aside. He's literally yeah. got my hand. And so it's right. like, let alone how many people it happens to. He just happens to be a, a high, you know, celebrity. Not, the only the reason press. I know about that is that last year I was watching him play because the, the commentators were talking about it. You can't help it. but talk right. about it because right. it's something as an NFL player, you need to use your fingers when you're in the depths of, you know, a defensive lineman trying to get that quarterback, trying to tackle him. And right. uh, but so be safe, you know, and then fireworks are safe as long as you actually handle them with safety and don't do anything stupid like I'm sure we can all like, imagine like be drunk and then that's what you know throw them, them at people right yeah, you know right. you know exactly gold so gold, since man. we've even come on gold continues to catch a bid here um you Quite know a, up 14 bucks roller coaster man it's, it's now if you we take a look at this if you want to see just you know bottom line on a continuous contract it was two dollars away from that swing area Rejected it, and you know, bottom line, there's the swing from uh, December of 2017, a low 1236.50. Okay. 1238.80 this morning. Yep. On a continuous contract, so there's, there's buyers here, um, yep. and there's some there's some real juice here, which is 
Um, this is kind of neat going into uh, the fourth, yeah. and at least, you know, it's only... Now, the thing that's intriguing, we've watched other commodities. I mean, look at wheat. Wheat's up 2.2, hogs up 2.2, gold's still only up 1.1%. You know, I, sure. I'll take it. Don't get me wrong. Sure. I'll take it. Silver's it was negative for the day, though, ahead of that. Just a Oh, tie, yeah. No, you know, no, no. In, yeah. It I'm, was red at one point. Right. So from its lows, it's up even it's more huge. than one net. Stay right there, folks. Market's giving it up. Dow's up 32. Nasdaq's down three. S&P's are up three. We're coming right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day, starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour, following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m., followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade. Think or Swim. Next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, up 44. NASDAQ uh, flat. S&P's up 4.5. It doesn't look like this uh, S&P, this market wants to hold in. I was just yeah. going to jump back to oil for a second yeah. as well. I was intrigued. So we're now at a full $2, um, more than that, that we quite an hour in terms of we've been on the yeah. air, man, from above 75 to did we get below 73? We did. 72.94 at one point. Um, man. End of the world. Market. End of the world for oil. Hey, cool. how about Amazon? Do you see Amazon Prime Day? July 16th, actually going to be a day and a half, 36 hours. Is They're it? They're getting good. It's, it's so be smart. Bad. Oh, my God. And so last year was 30 hours. Let okay. me get down here. So 36 total hours. It's going to be uh, the 16th. And where do they say? Uh, last year it was 30 hours. All right. We'll get... Uh, and then I saw, I believe it was eBay. Oh, select deals at, at Whole Foods also. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah. 
And then, uh, no, okay, somebody, I think it was eBay announced something for like July 17th as like a right back. And I eBay, almost, eBay might as well just go out of business. Chuckled. I know. Like, I was like, you can't, <laughs> eBay should not be playing Amazon's game. As right. in, when Amazon has Prime Day on July 16th, you know, eBay yeah. shouldn't have a board meeting and say, what are we doing on the 17th? That's not the way that they're going to no. compete. Um, not even close. Not even close. Not even close. So July 16th. Do you see Glencore? Let's go over Glencore, man. Yeah. They're, they're, uh... They subpoena from the U.S. Department of, uh, so, gee, you'll see, you know, what happens with these companies, they've, so Glencore, bottom line, you know, always been one of the biggest commodity places. Mark Rich was the guy that, out of Switzerland that did it. Remember Clinton, um, pardoned them, okay? Okay. They, they've been into commodities forever, paying everyone off. Okay. You know, and they just got caught again. <laughs> you know, they, but this is like a bank. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. No, it, yeah. It, They're it, a $50 billion folks, it's not, it's not right. The bottom line is that that's how they get all these, sure. um, you know, commodities. Yeah. You know? You're a $50 billion company. You can afford to pay a billion or two in taxes. Exactly. Yeah, fines, not taxes. Yeah. yeah. Right. Stay right there, folks. Have a great fourth. Coming up. Have a great fourth. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Wow! Go get them. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.